This principal Reyes. At this time, please stand for the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. Students, you may be seated now. Good morning, students. This is Principal Reyes. Today it is Friday. Yes, it's the last Friday of August. That means that when we come back next week, we're going to be in September, and September is going to be a new month, and it's going to be great of opportunities and challenges for you. We're going to have a long weekend. That means that you're going to be out on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Now, something that I need you to do, students, this weekend is read. Every day you should be reading. Reading is going to be able to get you so many places. You're going to be able to feel so much better. And I know that many of you are already working on your advanced reader goals, goals on your AR goals. And we all need to have those goals that we're going to be meeting, whether it's a small goal or a big goal, depending on what you can read, we need to make sure that we are challenging so you can keep growing and growing and growing, and your understanding for reading is going to keep increasing so you can be a better reader and you can understand and comprehend the instruction and what you're reading a lot better. And reading is going to help you in your future because there's words everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's words. Either you read the words or you're going to be listening or you're going to be speaking. And if we read a lot, we become better writers. We become better speakers. Yes, all that because of reading. So we're going to be able to read a variety of texts, whether it's informational, whether it's any other um, text that you want to read, like stories. Some of you like stories. Some of you like the graphic novels, which have the little uh, drawings and all that. And we need to make sure that whatever you are reading, it is going to be on your level. And the text that you're going to be given in class is going to be to get you to understand all those different types of of reading that you're going to be doing. I'm going to make sure that you are trying your best every day. And remember, on the weekend, I need you to read. I need you to read every day. For the little ones who do not know how to read yet, please ask your parents. Maybe they can take you to the public library and you can get some books and you can be looking at books, looking at pictures, and your parents can read to you. We need to make sure that you are reading and you are understanding and comprehending and making predictions about what you're reading. That's all that in here. We need to make sure we are making you a problem solver. Yes, we're going to be problem solvers. And also something else that we're going to find every day and as we grow up more is math. Mathematics are everywhere. We're going to see numbers everywhere. We can start right now how much time 
does it take to get the nails done? Hmm, well, it takes some time, but we are using numbers every day for time, for how much milk do we need, at what time do we need to go to bed, how many glasses of milk we're taking, how many pieces of whatever we're eating, we're eating, all that is numbers. And we need to be able to calculate and add, subtract, divide, multiply, and sometimes even fractions. We never eat a whole pizza. We divide the pizza pie into different pies. And if we're going to know how many people we're going to be feeding based on the number of pies, we're able to calculate how many pizzas we need to buy or make. Because some of us, we, we make pizzas. Um, all that is mathematics. And also, we got some science. Yes, because all that is cooked. And there's some changes on what is there. And when you go outside, you feel the weather. The weather is part of the science that we study. And you step on ground, you step on rocks, you step on grass. All that is part of what we study. You see uh, animals flying, you see animals walking. All that is part of the science that we learn. So school is very important. In addition to that, we also have art. Some of us are good at art. Some of us, art is, helps us feel better. And when we go also into music, whether it's playing an instrument, whether it's singing, whether it is just listening to music, some of us like music, and music is another great thing. And PE, every one of you moves. And movement is part of our physical activity. And we learn a lot of movements and a lot of ways to keep our body healthy in PE. So you see, everything that we do in school has a reason. And the reason is to make you a better person, a better citizen of our future. Students, let's be kind, let's be respectful, let's follow instructions. And today and every day, show what you know. Show what you know the first time. Let's have a great learning day.